Okay, in our last video we created a Kodu world. What we're going to do now is going to add some objects to that Kodu world. So we've got two ways we can go back into this. We can either click resume, which will open the last program we did, or we can go to load world. I'm going to go to load world. You can see the last one I created was called test world, so I'm going to click on test world. And I'm going to go to edit, which will take me back in. As previously, the move camera allows me to use the left hand mouse button to move left and right, or up and forwards and backwards. The scroll button allows me to zoom in and out, and the right hand mouse button allows me to rotate it. Now, I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit, get myself a bit more central to it, because I'm going to place some objects now. And to do that, we're going to click on the object tool. Once you click on the object tool, nothing will happen. You then need to click on where you want the location to happen now, or where, rather where you want the object to be placed. If I choose somewhere that's not very accessible, like clicking there, sometimes you'll find this won't appear. And if that's the case, that's fine. Either move yourself again using the move camera. I know it did work for me. Or move, choose a different location. So I'm in a position where it's working. I'm going to go to object tool, and I want to place my first object here. Now, I don't yet want to choose my character, so I'm going to choose some random objects. I'm going to have a tree, and I want there to be a large tree. There we go. You'll see that once I hover over the tree, a whole range of colors comes up at the top. So if I hover over the tree, and I use my arrow keys, I can change the color of the tree. I want a red tree here. Now I'm going to go back to the hand, and move myself. I might want to turn around a bit to see what this tree looks like from a different perspective. You can see it moves. The tree is actually also programmable, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, let's put an object on here as well. And this time, let's see what we've got in here. We have a wisp or a cycle or an octopus. We could have a ship or a light. I think I want a castle here, so I'm going to press a castle on here. And again, if I hover over the castle, we've got a range of colours, so this time let's have a pink castle. So a castle and a tree. Let's put one more object in, and then we'll choose a couple of characters. Let's put one over here. And this time, we're just going to put a piece of sedimentary rock. Again, we can change the colour of that if you want. Now, around the tree, I also want to add some apples. I want to add a lot more of these later and you'll see why, but for now I'm just going to put two apples in. And then we can add a character. Now the characters, there's a number of. Kodu's obviously the uh, best known character is the, the character that the game's named after. He can do a range of different things once programmed. So he has the opportunity to fire missiles, he has the opportunity to fly, but he doesn't go very quickly and he doesn't really go uphill. Rover is much faster. Rover flies around very, very quickly. He can inspect things, he can check things out, but he's not armed. So depending on what game you're trying to do, he could be a better character. I quite like flying fish, so I'm going to choose flying fish, hover over the flying fish, and I want my flying fish to be black. I'm going to put one more character in, and again, you need to choose at least two. So I'm going to click down here, and I'm going to make my other character cycle. Again, if I hover over cycle and use the arrow keys, the cycle can be yellow. So we've now got three objects, well, three largest objects, two small objects, which are the apples, we've got the cycle, and we've got my main character here, which is the flying fish. So again, I'm going to go back to the home menu, I'm going to go to save my world. You'll see it's already got the name in this time, so I'm just going to press save and save. If I go back to the home button here, I can now choose who I want to exit.